Hello everybody, this is Michael Smiley coming at you with another review video. I'm going to be talking about Season 6 of The 100. So I had already written a post, so I'm going to just read from my post that I had posted on my Facebook and social media. Um, because I wrote up pretty spot on of how I feel exactly about the season. So, first off... I want to start out by saying that um, for anybody who hasn't seen The 100 yet, stop watching now because there's going to be a bunch of spoilers. I'm not going to spoil Season 6 for anybody, but I'm going to kind of catch up to where everything is and how I feel about, you know, a lot of the things that have happened in this season and my overall perspective and view of the season. <clears throat> so, I posted... Season 6 of The 100 is now available on Netflix, which is very important. (laughs) For those looking for an incredible show, you're welcome. (laughs) And for those who've waited for Season 6, the CW just just released onto Netflix today. Enjoy. Season 6, in my opinion, has been the best of the entire series so far. As it was so different from the previous seasons. And it feels as though they really went above and beyond with the story and the action and especially the emotion. Um, The acting in this show, especially this particular season, is so underrated, and that is the truth. Uh, The acting, uh, they went above and beyond. Like, it was insane how people were able to snap in and out of characters. I only thought that, like, people like Nina Dobrev from The Vampire Diaries can do that, where they don't even have to think to play a character or to switch characters within the moment. It was insane. Um, And then I put excellent job. Season 7 will be its endgame, and I can't wait because it's naturally closing out the show. And, uh, um... This season has really made it so intense and left you wanting more. Um, I cannot say enough great things about this show. Check it out. (laughs) So that was my little review thing that I put on my social media. I I do wholeheartedly believe that um, I still wholeheartedly believe that The 100 is the superior show to Game of Thrones um, for a number of reasons. Um, But I'm not going to get into it that much with the whole Game of Thrones because that had its own moment to shine, and this is strictly for The 100. So, Season 6, major spoilers again for people who haven't um, caught up to this point. So, season six is an entirely different from the previous seasons because they are at the stage in the story where they had already done all the destruction that they could do to Earth. And, um... Hey. My dog is, like, going back and forth. (laughs) Um... So, that was really weird. I thought a spider was hanging down. Okay, I'm losing it. Anyway, <clears throat> so, come here. Um, so the group of survivors um, that have made it, you know, up to the finale of season five... Um, have really survived the destruction of the rest of what was left of Earth, really. Um, 
I don't really want to say any more than that, because if you haven't seen it, then you need to just end a story. Um, it is so severely underrated. Uh, so, they do a time jump of like 120 years or something like that. Or something, it, it was something crazy, a huge time jump. Anyway, well, they had uh, people in a sleeping stasis like they did on the Alien movies um, until they were able to reach another habitable um, planet. And it's really cool because they end up doing, you know, end up finding one, and um, it's not even a planet, it's the moon of a planet. And it, it, it's so... Um, it's so crazy because it's so different than, you know, life here on Earth, obviously. Because, you know, like the reptiles, like the snake thing was really crazy, and the bugs and um, just everything. The uh, eclipses drove people crazy when there was a certain toxin in the air from the plants that you know, was released. Anyway, there's so many things that go on in the season that make it stand out from all the previous seasons, because the previous seasons, you know, really built up to this point, but this season really um, went above and beyond and made it its own special season. And stylistically and creatively creatively, and, um, just everything about it is so different, obviously, besides the characters that we now love up to this point, there are so many crazy, great emotional moments between the characters, there are so many great action scenes, um, and let me tell you what, the guy, I don't I don't know what is uh, what the actor's name is right now. I, I do know what it is, but it's not, like on the tip of my tongue, and I can't think about it. But <clears throat> he played in Teen Wolf as Allison's dad, um, and he was a werewolf hunter in Teen Wolf, and um, he is such a great actor, um, and. I was really excited when they brought, when they announced that the actor was going to be on the 100. I was like, that's pretty awesome and everything. And I was like, well, how are they going to do that? Because, like, if they're going to go to a different world, then everything's going to be completely different, and they're not even going to even speak our language and everything. Well, there's a whole backstory behind that that you'll just have to get to that makes everything make sense. Um, and he is not even the good guy, he's the bad guy, and I was like, oh man, this sucks. I mean, the show doesn't suck, and the season definitely did not suck, um, but it sucks that they took one of my, a, a great actor, um, who obviously can play diverse roles, um, he was, you know, a hero and somebody that you rooted for in Teen Wolf, and on the 100, he's just somebody like, oh my god, they need to do something with this man. Um, because he, like, at the beginning and even in the middle, you were very iffy with him because he, um, you know, he did display the type of leadership that you would expect. Um, from a leader, uh, he was cautious, um, and everything, and he, he did try in his own way to embrace strangers, um, <clears throat> but then he turned into a total lunatic and everything as, you know, as the ending was approaching, um, for season six, so... Not entirely sure what happened to his character. Um, he is still alive, so he's definitely going to be in season seven. Um, but there's so many. There were character deaths that really 
would make a grown man cry. I've cried enough this season. There were really, really heart-wrenching moments this season. Um, so, everyone gets to look forward to that. Um, I am entirely happy that the show is ending on its own terms. Um, and, see, and seven seasons is really an excellent run, and it's going to end on a hundred episodes, so that's so fitting, and it's still on a high note, and it, it feels like it's naturally winding down, and also building up the intensity for the final season, which is really difficult to do, because when you're trying to wind things down, it's like... They're doing an excellent job with winding things down and building up at the same time because, you know, they're really bringing the story to its closure, but there's so much, still so much more intense chaos that's happening and everything that it just keeps you on the edge of your seat and keeps you wanting more. And that I really, really love about the 100. And... Um, it's exciting, and I can't wait. And the CW has done such an incredible job with the show, and definitely the cast and the crew has done such an amazing, incredible job with the show. Um, so that's really all that I have to say about Season 6, because Season 6, you know, it's on an entirely different world. Uh, so many weird... Uh, things happen, so many depressing things happen, so many awesome things happen. Like, it's a mixture of everything, and it, when it hits you, it hits you full force of everything. Like, it comes from all angles and everything, so, um, definitely, uh, a show to check out. Severely underrated, like I've stated before. Um, you can catch all the seasons right now, all six seasons that are out right now on Netflix. Season 7 that will be airing either later this year or next year, or early next year. Later this year or early next year will be Season 7. I'm pretty sure that it starts this year, though. Um, because it seems like a 90% of the CW shows start back up in October. Um... <clears throat> But anyway, check it out. I know everyone always, you know, it's really difficult sometimes to get over the lump that is the first season. But trust and believe it is totally worth it. And season one is still really good. So, um, you know, if you make it past season one, you're on a roller coaster. I mean, you're on a roller, you're full fledge on that roller coaster in season one. Um, but you're really going to go above and beyond in twirls after that, so, um, make sure you hang with it. If you loved Game of Thrones, you're obviously going to love the 100, um, and you'll see what I mean with the storytelling and everything. Uh, like I said, I can't say enough great things about it, so check it out if you haven't seen it. Um... If you like my video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And make sure you subscribe to my channel because I have so many more review videos to make in the near future. So, and past ones. Um, have a great night, everybody. Until next time.